I'm at IFSEC 2011 with Barry Shakespeare, the Managing Director of Norbane. Barry, last night was your first Norbane Connect Gala Dinner. How do you think the evening progressed? Well, Brian, thanks very much for the uh, interview. For me, yes, it was the first uh, Connect uh, evening dinner. And Connect, the ethos of Connect is, as it says, connecting our customers with each other for networking. And for me, you know, it was just a tremendous success. And I don't measure that just by my own participation, but the feedback I got from our customers. You know, we've changed the format of Connect over the last few years. It may still uh, value some, some tweaking in the future, but you know what? I think we're almost there. A really good event. Excellent. And we've spoken a few times, Barry, in the recent past, but never in depth where IFSEC is concerned. And this is also the first show for you as a professional in the sector. What are your initial impressions? Well, Brian, you know, I think IFSEC, first of all, is a very professionally uh, run uh, show. Um, you know, you, you can spend a lot of time going around shows uh, and you really have to therefore get value for money, not just in terms of us as an exhibitor, uh, investment in being here, but value for time. I think time is the commodity we have so mm -hmm. little of these days, you know, and I think for me, as the leader of this company, and I think certainly the customers and our vendor partners I've spoken to, you know, IFSEC really is the premier event for, for us in this industry, uh, and I think it's really come of age again this year with the uh, transition to uh, a new way of, of the show running, uh, in, indeed, as well as uh, you know some new exhibitors. So I think for me, big success. And what's been the feedback from your channel partners that you've spoken to thus far? Well, you know, the channel partners uh, you know, come in all sizes and shapes, of course. So I think the other good thing is there's something here for everyone. Um, the feedback I've had so far is that you know, they found some interesting applications, things they hadn't thought of, and I hope that gives them some uh, opportunity to go away and craft new uh, propositions to their customers. Um, there is some, uh, some new technology arriving, but you know, what we've been able to do on our booth uh, is we've been able to, to work out how someone in, say, 30 minute investment of their time can walk around our booth, see everything they need to know, touch the headlines, and then later on absorb it and come back for detail. And speaking of that new technology, has any of that caught your eye so far, Barry? Well, you know, there's a lot of things here that catch your eye, Brian, uh, you know, not least of which the girls, of course, but uh, I think uh, for me, technology-wise, you know, we're showcasing HD technology. And, you know, just to keep it real simple, you know, people talk about high-definition televisions and we're comfortable with 1080p becoming quickly the standard for that. And we talk about IP uh, cameras and, and, and we're talking about megapixel resolution. I mean, that's the, the jargonry. HD is just another means of delivering high-definition uh, signals, but not over IP. So there's an emerging technology for us, but, you know, it's a, got a rich and, and, and deep history. It comes out of the broadcast industry, so out of film studios and television studios studios so it's it's a bit of a bulletproof technology I don't think there's any question about that finding out how it fits in what its space is and what its price point is a way to go but very interesting technology the interesting from our point of view this year Barry is the fact that Microsoft global security are here what are your thoughts on that well, it's interesting because this is my first IFSEC, as you rightly say, So, but I do understand they were here a little while ago, so one should ask ourselves a question, what stopped them coming back before? Um, for me, I think it's about that road of transition. Uh, the IT world I come from, I'm very used to being at shows and exhibitions alongside a Microsoft or a Cisco, who equally were here some time ago, I understand. I think it's an interesting turning point. You know, is there a sea of change that says the IT channel players see our world as something that is of interest to them, where they can bring added value? Um, I'm sure Microsoft have got a great story. I've listened to it. You know how they, as a major enterprise, deploy this sort of technology. But really, what Microsoft does at Unified uh, Desktop to bring it all together. I think it's an interesting move, and I'm really keen to see if that creates a bow wave of opportunity for my customers and for Norbank. And do you think Norben will be back at the show next year? <laughs> well, you know, I guess the, the sponsors of the show, the organisers, have already asked me that question several times, so I'll, I won't keep my powder dry. I'm absolutely confident, yes, we will be here next year. And will we see any new technology on the stand, and that being the case next year for Norben? Well, you know, Brian, we just talked about any new technology that might catch my eye, and the HD technology is already on our stand. But, you know, I think the one thing I would say you know, is I absolutely believe that Norbane needs to retain its position of being able to deliver, you know, in, in a professional uh, um, uh, and uh, business-like way, the, the main technologies our customers need to acquire to be successful. And that, I think, will mean we have to have some IT technologies on our shelf that we don't have today. Thank you very much indeed, Barry. You're very welcome, Brian.